Yeah, still the 14th of November, Monday. I was sitting here messing around and originally on all these posts for the old dog kennels, I was going to just fill them full of concrete. Well, it goes way down there, about two, three foot actually. I said, crap, that's going to take a long time getting that concrete in that hole. And I don't want to waste that much time. And I got this plate steel down there. There's a piece right here. And I got a hole saw kit. So cutting a uh, score with the hole saw gives me a point of reference to cut with the cutting torch pretty quick. And look at there. Now, I got to have a ground, of course. I'll weld on a little piece of metal here to get my ground. And then that little, little hole right there, you know, a little saying amongst welders, you know, if I can step across it, I can weld it. So I can dab that with some uh, welding rod and close that hole up real easy. So yeah, this is going to work. Now, here's the problem I had. When I cut these off, all the slag was on the inside here. Well, how the hell am I going to get that slag out to clean these holes up? Just so happens, I have a reamer. Now yesterday I was talking about do I keep it or do I trade it off on my rigid 300 pipe thread machine with all the attachments. And I said, well, you know, as soon as I get rid of it, I'm going to need it. And the next day, I needed the reamer. This thing is going to stay with me. And when I drop dead, uh, the wife can call Purple Wave to get rid of it. I'm keeping it. Because the next day, today, I needed a part of it, the reamer. Clean that pipe out perfectly with two turns. So, don't have to deal with getting concrete down those little holes. All I got to do is weld in a slug and call it done. That's all for this one. Thank you.